Hi again. Hello, welcome to the channel. It is October 12th and our topic today is always love. Seneca says, Hecato says, I can teach you a love potion made without any drugs, herbs, or special spell. If you would be loved, love. AKA, if you want love, give love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need love. I mean, we, we need to be surrounded by love. And he's saying, like, if you want that, then you have to be the one who gives the who love. Gives the love. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we have to be loving to each other, and then, then we will have love come back from that. Yeah. Yeah, I can, yeah, of course. Yeah, I get it. Um not really connecting with today's quote so much because he's not talking about what gets in the way like what gets in the way of somebody's ability to love and i feel like that's actually the conversation to be had here because we all know that this is the answer like this doesn't this quote doesn't surprise anybody it's not like we're getting new information from hearing it we all get it but hearing the quote like well, just do it. It has this kind of thing like, well, what if I have problems with being able to connect with the part of me that is loving because my system doesn't feel safe in the world, for example. And we're not talking about that. And so I feel like we run the risk with these types of quotes of just making people feel worse for not measuring up to the bar of philosophy and then philosophy is like well i told you what the what the intended outcome is so now you're on your own type of thing that's where i'm at with today's quote i mean yeah i don't yeah feel free to talk about that if you like like what's what's the barrier in that in for you to kind of connect with that quote i mean i connect with it like i understand what it's saying and i agree with it but it's not helpful to me because it's not addressing what gets in the way well, i'm asking you what gets in the way trauma like not feeling safe in the world mm -hmm. like that's going to cut cut me off or cut anybody off from being able to feel like, in order to love, I have to feel safe in my skin. I have to feel safe in the world. I can't access that feeling or that state of mind if I'm worried or anxious or, like, my vigilant systems are on high alert. So I would be more helped by something that's getting at that so that we can remove the barriers to love rather than by a quote that's just saying, well, remember to love. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so where are you not feeling safe in, in that? Like what safety are you mm, lacking or missing? It's like just the accumulation of my lifetime of traumas in this area, in this area, in this area, in this area, in this area. All of that added up together makes it so that there are times when I cannot access my sense of loving something else or my sense of gratitude for something. That's hard. If you first have to, if you have a feeling like you first have to go fix a bunch of stuff before that love, loving feelings can start kind of freely flowing and 
kind of gain the trust back into humanity or or you being in the humanity or something like that you know like yeah that's a um, and if it's like a precondition for that um, then it's like a prerequisite almost you know it becomes almost like a prerequisite like we have to fix first all that stuff before you know I can talk about love or some sort of uh, like spontaneous loving feelings or something, you know. Yeah. Well, we can. What do you do? You have anything else on this one, or no? Yeah, well, let's then read Ryan. Yeah. See what happens here. In 1992, Barbara Jordan addressed the Democratic National Convention and railed against the greed and selfishness and divisiveness of the previous decade. People were ready for a change. Change it to what, she asked. Change that environment of the 80s to an environment which is characterized by a devotion to the public interest, public service, tolerance, and love. Love, love, love 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 why because as the beatles put it in the end the love you take is equal to the love you make not just in politics not just in tolerance but in our personal lives there's almost no situation in which hatred helps yet almost every situation is made better by love or empathy understanding appreciation even situations in which you are in opposition to someone. And who knows, you might just get some of that love back. Yeah, so, there, so he's saying it's more about like giving the love first and then receiving it. It's, and you're saying more like, well, I had all these... Um, life experiences that uh, make it hard for me to give love or something like that yeah not all the time but like that is what gets in the way like what gets in the way of being of anybody being able to give love is something happened in life that made them not feel safe in their skin or in the world and so now they're cut off from these higher level emotions, these connectiveness emotions, because they're preoccupied with feeling stressed out, feeling worried, feeling anxious about things. And we all know that give love, love is the answer. We all know it's not profound, in my opinion, to say, mm, here's the answer. That's annoying because it's like, it's not acknowledging the full picture. The full picture is we are all smart enough to know that this is the right way forward. And yet so there's things that get are, in the way. You're saying they are not um, taking in consideration the full picture. And you're saying you are taking in consideration the bigger picture almost or something. Like they did not have you in mind when they were saying love, love, love or something, right? I mean, I don't know what they had in mind. Like they just had in mind this very narrow thing of like, here's the answer. So that's what I'm saying. You were thinking that they had this narrow thing in mind that excludes your, your um, scenario or like you're not part of that. That love thing that they're talking about that's over there for the people who are happy to give each other love. But but if if over here in the world of where things are not so happy, giving that love is very difficult. And you're saying they were not talking about this world. They were only talking about the world where it feels good to love. I mean, I don't know. They, they, it sounds like they think they're also talking to the people who have issues with love mm -hmm. as if 
oh, well, they just need to hear it. They just need to hear that this is the answer and then they'll do it. And my work here is done. And this is like a personal pet peeve of mine of like teachers out there in the world who are not teaching at the level of the person's experience. They're teaching just, well, here's what I think you should know. And it's not actually, there's a gap there between what they're delivering and the, and the set of givens that, are, that the student has. There's a gap in between there. And the best teachers are the ones who take responsibility upon themselves to fill that gap. They don't make the students mm-hmm. fill that, figure out how to fill that gap on their own. That's why they're students. So well, I'm I just, mean, I'm just like, yeah, they're helping them to maybe guide them to figure it out, but sure. They're, they're helping them to figure it out. Yeah. So, some of them are, yeah, but some of them, I mean, and a, a teaching in this kind of way where it's like a quote a day. And I can imagine like Ryan has to choose 365 of these and he's probably not like really thinking critically and deeply all the way down at the level for every entry of the thing. I'm sure some of these entries are more or less just kind of phoned in. And that's really what I'm feeling here. I'm feeling like this was not considered at a deep enough level to be helpful to anybody. Well, to you. Sure. But like, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, I, this is just like one of those things of like this this is the part of this book that is annoys the hell out of me that I'm like oh like I kind of can't wait to be done with this book because so many of the entries are like this hmm. yeah. well it's okay they're you know they can be all winners <laughs> so yeah good seeing you all thanks for tuning in tell maybe this is helpful to you if it's helpful to you tell me how it's helpful to you I would love to know